Why is it important to reduce the intake of refined sugar for fitness? Uh, refined sugar is very bad for health. Very bad. Many people say they have sweet tooth. Uh, that's why they have refined sugar. Why? If you have sweet tooth, you can have honey, you can have dates, you can have fruits. You can uh, have uh, jaggery, especially organic jaggery, the dark brown, almost black one. They are good for health. Obviously, not when taken in extreme quantities, but in general, they are good for health. Honey should not be used in hot substances because its, it's property changes and it does not remain as beneficial as it should be. Honey should be taken in either warm or normal temperature substances. So don't put honey uh, in your coffee or your uh, tea. That's not a good idea. But you can have uh, jaggery in, in them. I have a sweet tooth and every single day I have oats uh, with uh, honey. Every single day after dinner. I love it and I don't compromise on it. But honey is healthy, oats is healthy, and the combination is also healthy. Refined sugar is called white poison. There are documentaries made on refined sugar and the ill effects of refined sugar. It has very bad impact on your physical health as well as mental health. Just by eliminating refined sugar from your diet, say just six days a week, seventh day you can have anything. Six days a week if you don't touch refined sugar or any product that has refined sugar in it, you cannot imagine the level of your energy and fitness that will rise because of elimination of refined sugar. So everybody should try to not have refined sugar at all. So I have uh, six non-cheat days and one cheat day. In those non-cheat days, I don't have anything that has even a drop of refined sugar in it. And obviously not refined sugar directly. It's, you have to feel it for yourself when you stop using the pen shoes.